In this video, we're going to take a look at activity 315, part 2b, and in part 2a, we went ahead and looked at, one, how we could have a potentiometer read a value that was the maximum uh, value that could be read and remember it, and in this one, we're going to write a variable to, based off of 2a, which is we were looking at the closest value that the sonar value would register to remember that. So this one we're going to look at what is the uh, brightest value that the light sensor is detected and we're going to have a limit switch that should reset the value. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at um, this code here. I want to make sure this was part 2a so I'm going to go ahead and put that in and we'll say save and then I'm going to go ahead and use save as and we'll call this part 2b hit save and with that I can change that B or 8 over to a B and um, here they want us to find again modify the pro program so that we have the brightest value as being recorded by the light sensor the limit switch is going to do that so let's go ahead and change some of our pseudo code brightest we're going to repeat indefinitely our brightest value which we don't really know off the top of the, our heads right now but let's go ahead and get rid of the pro uh, let's right now we got a program that's working at the moment so actually let's just download the robot and let's see what our our brightest value and kind of what numbers are our, our light sensor are reading in so here's our sensors Here's the light sensor. It's reading at 245. So, and in the darkest, it's at like 1,050, looks like. So, it looks like we're going to have to start at 1,050, and then whatever the brightest value it is, you know, we're going we're gonna to go through and kind of take off what kind of, what kind of values. So, the, the lower the numbers, the brighter the value, essentially, is what we're getting, or the brightest level that we're getting from light. So, so with it fully covered, let's start looking at, we'll put 1050 for the initial value. Limit switch is going to be the thing that changes this over. If the, this case, the light sensor reads less than 1050, then the variable brightest is equal to the value of the light sensor. And if the limit switch is pressed, then the value is going to return back to turn back to one when that happens. So all right, let me go ahead and take that off there. Okay, so down here in our program, let's go ahead and just change some of our variable names. Brightest, we're going to set this variable change that also in our line by line comments brightest is going to be at 1050 and we'll say while the sensor value of the limit switch is not pressed then the sensor value of brightest and we're going to go ahead and change out the sensor name to be the light sensor and if it reads less than 1050 then that means that the brightest value is going to be equal to the sensor value of the light sensor and again let me change my comments here to the value of the light sensor okay all the comments and everything should be updated and now I can see by compiling the program before I um, make any changes I might want to go ahead and I'm gonna cover the light sensor with a dark object here download the robot 
just so that way we can see the effects. I'm going to hit the start button. Light sensor looks like as I go through and start to see. So there was at the thousands as I started to pick up my uh, object here, it started to get let more light in. So as I pick up more, it's remembering the higher value. If I take it completely away, the brightest value it's able to see is at um, 244, 242 looks like it's the brightest value there. It's reading covering around that area. So it is remembering what the brightest value would be, uh, which is kind of nice. So it allows us to go through and do that. Let me see if I can turn on our flashlight here and while the program's running and see if we can get an even brighter value as I shine the light on there and there we go. So we're getting uh, 28 for that value. So I get it even closer. Looks like the closest one I can get into by putting it right on top. It's about an 18 or 19. And I can go ahead and turn off my flashlight now out of the debugger window. and. That's just remembering the brightest value that the light sensor can read. So if I hit stop, this will finish out activity 315 part 2b on how to read and remember what the uh, brightest value we, our light sensor can pick up.